little while ago, I made a guide on how I make thumbnails. And probably not even a month later, I found out a lot of useful tips. And now my thumbnails are so much better. <laughs> so I decided I would make an updated version of everything I currently know. So the first things you're going to want is a uh, load character plugin, which you can search up. I believe you can go toolbox plugins. Yeah, and there's there's a free one somewhere. Yeah, right. Sorry. <laughs> Second one's free. And then moon animator, just do the same thing. Now, once you do this, you just type in the user. That's how I got this. You can go to your moon animator, type whatever. I never really care what I type because it doesn't matter. You're gonna click the plus character. You saw it C frame and rig, I believe is what they say. And now you're just gonna mess with your character to however you want it. Okay. Now that that's done, I just made some really quick. Uh, that's done. You're gonna pick your items, whatever you decided to use in your thumbnail, and you're just gonna make it look like you're holding or using them. This part won't need anything really extra. And I'm actually gonna, for most models, if you open it right here on the right, you'll be able to find the colors. So like this is the glow. I'm actually gonna set it to pick screen color. I'm gonna set it more to the color. Of, yeah, match me. Bang, now it matches. Now you're gonna hold, select everything, right click on one of the blue parts. Then click export. Mm. Just name it whatever. Now you're gonna hop on over to Blender. Delete this. I don't know why I didn't. You don't need that. Delete this light. And go to File, Import, Wavefront, OBJ. Then you're gonna find your. Uh, Yes, you're gonna find your model here. You can click this origin geometry to origin, or you can just move it, but that'll just teleport it to the middle. Sometimes they're off. There you go, open this right here on the right. Bang, open it twice. Go down to the shading menu right here, a little circle. You're gonna scroll down under settings, it'll say your blend mode. You want that to be this one right here because if it's not your parts will be invisible like my character is when you set it bang it's visible now for glowing this is the glowing part so you can go to hex you can actually copy the base color right here paste it in a mission then put your amount and then it'll glow but now for lighting Last time I said you can go add and then pick lights and just, you know, add whatever here. You can do this, but it's not very accurate. So now you're going to go to shading. Down here, objects, you're going to click world. Delete this. You're going to go to add, texture, environment. Put it here. Now you can search up online. I'll try and find the link and put it in the description if I can. Uh, just find, it's called an HDRI, you're going to find an HDRI shader. So right here, you're going to click that file button, open yours, plug the color into surface. And now, there's lighting. It's a lot more accurate. So this is obviously going to be the way, we don't want this. I'm just going to go to, I guess that doesn't matter, you're going to go to this camera, film, Transparent. Now it's gone and you just have the lighting. Here's where it's going to go into two paths. If you have more of a low-end computer, 
I'm going to show you what to do now. If you have a better PC, you can follow along with this next step, but then the final step is going to be different. So you can press 0 on your numpad on the right, and it'll take you into this camera. And if you don't have a numpad, which I believe pretty much every computer does, you can go to View, Cameras, Active. Bang. Now on this. Now press shift in the number or the little key next to one. It's like the two little squiggly lines. And now you can just place it wherever. Now this is where it splits. If you have a low end PC, go to render, image, bang, there's your image. You can go to image and save this. But if you have a better computer, this is what I do. You can go to edit, preferences, go down to system, cycle renders, and turn it to this cute thing and select both. Then you're going to go here to render engine. You're going to set it to cycles, or set device, to GPU compute, and then click denoise. Now you can see that's glowing and the lighting's so, so much better. Now you're going to click render, render image. This will typically take, uh, at most I've seen like 10 minutes, at least with my computer. So this takes a minute. Okay, now our render is done. That took about a minute, probably not even. Now I'm going to go image, save as, and just save it as whatever. Now you're going to hop on over to your photo editor which I forgot to open. I use Pixlr. And you're gonna go to your page right here. Now you can either find, there's like a basic background or you can throw some more advanced ones. This will be in my, or in a Discord server down below. Because I don't think I can paste the image for you to download. But you can throw this in, or sometimes I like to obviously just take pictures in the game, and then you can go here and size it up. So the little icons aren't there. This can be your background too. But I'm just going to stick with this. Now you can go to downloads or wherever you saved it, and you're going to find your picture, which is this. You're going to throw it on there, and there's your render. Now, if you want stuff like shadows and name tags, I'm going to show you how to put them on right now. So if you're on Pixlr, you can go down here to the plus empty to add a new empty layer. You're going to throw on your shape. Make sure your base color here is black. And this can also be black, that's just the inside color. But if it wasn't, that's fine. You can go over here to color replace, turn this up, and it'll automatically be black. You can just go over it. Bang, now it's fully black. You can layer this under it so you're actually over the shadow. And then I usually put my transparency at 20 or 75. Now you got a shadow. For name tags, it's pretty much the same thing. I just do this rounded rectangle here. Got this. And I put my transparency to 60. Or you can add text. The font I use is called Lucky Sky. This is like the basic Bedwars font. Right here. But you can really use whatever. I'm gonna throw this in. I usually add an outline. Oops. So you need to do a liner out of glow. It really doesn't matter, honestly. And there's your name tag. And you can add extra effects, really whatever you want. I use this to divide it. So if I'm doing like a little split screen, I have two separate themes. I put one thing here, one thing here, and then cut them. And that's what divides the pictures. I have, there's a bunch of stuff, you got a bed, you got your wind streak, 
thing right here. Uh, I don't know why it looks like that. <laughs> You'd have to go and cut out the purple. I did, but apparently it didn't save. And then this thing, which everyone uses, is like your action lines. Which my thumbnail actually has it built in. It's just not as clear. But you can add whatever extra pictures you want to it to make it look nice. Now I'm going to go to second style. If you don't want this, uh, you can just click off the video now and thanks for watching. <laughs> but if not, I'll show you what I do these types of thumbnails. These are usually a lot more simplistic on the stuff you add. But it's a little different. Now as you can see, this doesn't blend with the background good at all. So you can go to dodge slash burn. It's already set to lighten. I'll turn my brush up. And now you can just drag over this and it'll highlight all the mid-tones. Shadows, that looks bad. Highlights, looks good. Minus the head. That looks weird. <laughs> Usually there's not much you have to do other than this. You might put some text, do whatever. But, I don't usually add like a name tag and obviously no shadow. But if you want, for thumbnails like this, I usually add effects. So you can go to PNG wing, you can do whatever. We'll just say fire. <laughs> and you can download any of these. So we'll just go here. Download. Bang, right there. I can throw this on. Now obviously for this you'd want <laughs> transparency down. Or you'd just layer it under like this. This doesn't look good. But it was the only example I could think of. So you can actually go here. I'm going to set the fire to match the color. Now we got more purplish. Pinkish fire. Thing. Now it looks a little better. If you have any questions, comment them below. If you have anything to add that I missed, also comment that to help me out. <laughs> but thank you for watching.